Hey everybody and welcome to today's workout. Today I have a very beginner workout, so that means if you haven't worked out in a long time, you've never worked out or you've taken a break from working out and you're restarting your routine, this is a good one for you. It's easy on the joints and there's no jumping in this workout, so you can start with this workout and work your way up to other workouts, but this is a good place to begin. It's only 10 minutes long and we have 10 different moves. Each move we'll do for 45 seconds on and we'll take a 15 second rest or a water break in between. You can extend that water break if you need to, but try and get back into it as quickly as you can. You don't need any equipment for this workout, just make sure to have a water close by. But with all that being said, let's get into it. Let's go. So the first exercise we're going to do is high knees, which is just like it sounds. You just raise your knees and try and tap them with your hand and raise them as high as possible. Ready? Let's go. If it's hard to find your balance, you can hold on to a wall like this. But if you don't need to, you can just do this. The next move we're going to do is like a jumping jack, but we're taking out the jump. So we just walk side to side, just like this. And a good habit to get in is to engage your core, so try and tighten those muscles at all times. It'll help strengthen your core, but it'll also help protect your back. If you don't know what engaging your core means, think of it as a string tied to your belly button and you're pulling it back towards your spine. So it's not sucking in as much as it's tightening, tightening the muscles. Next, we're gonna stand in place. We're gonna reach forward and then pull back and tighten the back muscles. Reach forward and tighten as you pull back. And don't forget, engage your core and stand tall. It'll help strengthen your back, strengthen your abs, and just help you be stronger overall. Next, we're going to go into a half squat. So we just go down a little, and back up. Make sure your knees aren't bending over your toes like this. You wanna keep them back and your hips back and just go down a little and back up. And as you go back up, you wanna squeeze your glute muscle. If you feel like you can go a little further, you can do that. If you don't wanna go as far, just go as far as is comfortable. The next move is just arm circles, so you keep your arms out to the side, and we're just going to do circles like this. You can go forward, and you can go backwards, so halfway through we'll switch directions. So 
let's start with backwards arm circles. And as you stand here, make sure to stand tall, engage your core, and move those arms. Switch directions and go forward. Next, we're gonna use the wall for a little support and do leg lifts. So go to a wall or if you have a chair or a couch and we're just gonna lift our leg out to the side. And you can have a little bend in the supporting leg so it's not just locked out. That will help protect the knee. And if you can only lift it this much, that's great. If you wanna lift it higher, you can lift it to what level you wanna try. Switch legs. Next, we're going to do that about lifting our leg backwards. So, like this and we're just gonna switch legs. Make sure to hold on to a wall or a chair. If you feel like you have your balance, you can do this, but you can also use a wall. And you wanna try and stay upright. You don't wanna go down like that. You wanna engage your core and keep your chest upright. So you'll feel it in your glute right here as you go up. Next, we're gonna find a wall again and do upright push-ups. So lean against it like this and just go down and up. Make sure to not just let your belly hang. You wanna keep your core tight and your body straight. Next, we're gonna go down to the mat and we're gonna lean back on our elbows and keep our knees bent like this. We're just gonna lift one leg and then back out. Lift one leg and back out. Stand up for our last move, and we're doing a half reverse lunge. So step back and forward. Back, 
So this front leg bends a little and the back leg bends a little. You can do it as low as you want or you can do it just a little. And feel free to go at the pace you want. If you want to pick it up and go a little faster, you can do that. If you want to take it a little slower, then that's great. Also hold on to the wall if you feel like you're not able to balance as well. And that's it. Good job, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below what you think. You can repeat this if you feel up to it, or you can come back tomorrow and do it again. But I hope you guys enjoyed it, and good job. See you later.